Welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to attempt something that's rather intimidating. I have a 5x7 panel here. It's a linen stretched over panel. It's a commission. And I'm doing a scene of the morning light on Waterton uh, Lake with the mountains in the background picking up the sunlight. And I've already uh, shown the sketch and a lot of people like when they start uh, a painting like this uh, on this size working up from a sketch get all tense and they want to grid it all out and uh, take their sketch and make sure they have everything uh, exactly gridded out by, by uh, placing it within boxes on the canvas. I like it differently. Uh, I like to sort of try to get more spontaneous and get the feeling, the thrust of the landscape, the proportion, and uh, just a general rough in freehand because uh, it's more fun, it's, it's more challenging, and, and you can't really make a mistake because you, you have a lay in here, it's toned canvas. And um, I'm not worried about detail. I want general, general movement, and uh, I can always change everything later on. So I put a little bit of uh, turpentine in my medium so that it isn't so uh, oily, and I mix uh, basically a, a neutral blue, blue gray, and um, just start to get a sense of where the boundaries are. In, in the canvas because the, the composition is really uh, you're taking an idea, a shape, and you're subdividing it. So, you know, what I want is the, the abstract, flat design quality in first before I start rendering form and atmosphere. So, the, in this demonstration, I'm just going to show in the lay in, and in my sketch, there, there is this, this, this great bank of mountains on a diagonal, and there's the clouds, sort of as your counter thrust, and it's just all about movement. And so, if you start to figure out where your horizon line is going to be, roughly, remember you can change anything, but you don't want the horizon halfway up, and uh, I might have it too high already. From, from the sketch, I probably want to lower it. But you see, you can do that kind of stuff because you're, you're working with a neutral color and it's not going to show through what you put on top. But it's really fun because I can, I can just sort of feel the direction of the mountains and start working with that. See, I want the, the, to show the peaks being smothered by the clouds. It was a very cloudy, windy day that morning in Canada. And the Prince of Wales Hotel was uh, perched out on that bluff, which is a very famous, famous scene. And I want to get that, that drama. So there's, a, there's three major lines of mountains that you see in the view, and wonderfully, there's one mountain that uh, really is very distinctive. I forget what it's called, but it sort of is at the head of the lake on the Montana side, and it looks like a castle, and it's very dramatic. So, you step back, you look at things and you try to imagine the scene in your head. So I'm just playing around with the, the you feel the whole thing, you move your whole arm. It's uh, the gestures come from your shoulders. And all you have time later on to do all the little details, but 
got to get those diagonals in first and get a feeling for the major movements in this painting. So it's the trees over here coming in. This canvas surface is very rough. And uh, it's okay. Didn't mean it to be so rough, but it doesn't matter. So See, I could probably, see when you step back, you could sort of see that you could push things more, push this up higher. And by working freehand, you get a, a sense of the scale because you're, you're, you're involved in it. Get this, here's the trees that go up in here. The idea is to make the mountains really intimidating. That's the way I like them. And so there are they're huge mountains and they're looking like they're about to engulf this little hotel. And it's not so little either. It's about yay big in the scene. But it's a multi-story hotel. And notice I don't put it in the middle. That's the thing, you know, you don't want to have, at this stage, you want to be sure you don't have some glaring uh, thing like your subject right in the middle of the, of the painting. And see, I'm very careful. This is the time to notice those mistakes and fix them. Ironic, but the it's actually a challenge to compose for me with this particular hill with the hotel because the hill is almost right at the horizon line. If you're looking at the level of the hotel from across the bay, you have to try to figure out a way to to differentiate the two so that one isn't looking. So I'll lower the horizon line even more, which serves my purpose, and make the hill bigger. But you don't want to make the hill and the horizon line on the same point, because it will look awkward. So now, just, see it almost is ridiculous to worry about the shapes of the mountains, just to get the general ideas and the, and the position of the peaks at this stage and the relative scale. And then I go right to the sky and start roughing in, for example, the, the clouds. The clouds are such a major part of this scene.